Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, the first screencast on uh, BTEC Level 2 Extended Certificate in Sport. Uh, this screencast will look at the structure and function uh, of the skeletal system. Uh, you will need a pen and paper and also some blank uh, worksheets which I'll give you in lesson. Um, you are free to stop this screencast at any time you want and also repeat it as many times as you want. Uh, it's really important you get the key theoretical concepts that you're going to be shown in this particular screencast. Okay, so pen and paper ready? Let's go. Okay, first of all, we are going to look at the structure of the skeleton. And in doing this, you will achieve P1 for your assignment. Uh, as you can see on the screen just now, you have um, the skeleton labeled. So can you use the blank diagram that I've given you and label the bones that you can see on the screen? Okay, when you've done that, we need to understand that there are two different types um, of kind of skeleton bones within the skeleton itself. We have what is called the axle skeleton, and the axle skeleton consists of your cranium, your ribs, your sternum, and your vertebrae column. And if we look at the picture, these are the bones that are shaded in green. So can you shade your uh, blank skeleton or your label skeleton now a colour and put axle skeleton next to that? When you've done that, can you also please shade the um, purple areas which are on the screen just now? And these are called your appendicular skeleton. And these are basically all your limbs, so bones like your femur, uh, your humerus, etc. And these are the bones that are currently uh, coloured in orange. So please shade those uh, as well. Okay, next we're looking at something called the vertebrae column. And again, you're going to be given, or you've been given, a, um, a blank copy of the vertebrae column. So can you please uh, copy what's on the screen in front of you on the diagram that you currently have uh, in your lesson and in doing that you will achieve P1. Okay the next part to the screencast is uh, looking at the functions of the skeleton and in doing this you'll achieve P1. So please listen carefully, pause it if you need to and please write the following information down. So the first one we're looking at is support. So the skeleton gives the body support. So it helps to stabilize and support the framework of the body. The skeleton also offers protection. So your bones help to protect the internal tissues and the organs. So for example, the skull or your cranium protects the brain. So without your skull, your brain will not be protected. The third function that we're going to look at is movement. Now bones enable movement to happen as a skeleton is joined together. Okay, so bones allow or uh, our body to move, uh, especially for sporting activities, which we'll look at in in, uh, in weeks to come. The fourth one is blood cell production, or blood production, and this is basically basically where your bones produce uh, red blood cells in the bone marrow of your bone. And the final one for today. Uh, is the final function is mineral storage and this is where your bones help to store minerals such as uh, as calcium uh, which is really good for building your bones as you as you kind of go from childhood to adulthood okay folks that's about it for today's very basic introduction to the screencast uh, please pause it as many times as you wish to and watch over again if you need to as well and we'll discuss uh, further uh, things in the lesson.